Welcome back, you wonderful people, to another Slacking Armchair Supporter video. My name is Ash Carls93, and I'm here to preview Liverpool versus Burnley. Um, just before I do that, please, if you're enjoying the content, leave a like on the video and also hit that subscribe button. Now, let's get into the news, basically. Um, there's, well, fresh injury concerns. Um, Mr. Bosley uh, picked up a knock. Apparently, it, he's aggravated the, the injury he picked up on against Newcastle on New Year's Day. So it's, and if reports are to be believed, he could be up, out for up to seven or eight games, which is a big miss, very big miss. Um, on the plus side, Wataro Endo is back. Unfortunately, he's, you know, he's been knocked out of the, the Asian Cup, but as a from a selfish perspective, for a Liverpool fan, that's good news because we really need a bit of a freshen up in midfield and... I think he's the man to do it, especially with now with Savoslai out for potentially, you know, two months. So it's one in and one out. Um, also, apparently there has been another setback for Thiago um, after playing five minutes against Arsenal. He's got another muscle strain. So I think it's about time Liverpool um, just let him go, really. So other than that, I think there's no fresh injury concerns. Um Obviously, Ibrahima Kanate is out due to that red card picked up against Arsenal. Um, Salah is a potential return date for this game. If not, it'll be the next game. So I haven't put him in my lineup, just to err on the side of caution. But anyway, let's get into the score and lineup predictions. Now, I think this, this game could go one of two ways. I think. Liverpool were disastrous against Arsenal. Absolutely terrible. And I think they could maybe carry on down that path, you know, let it get to them and get upset again against Burnley here. Or it could go the other way. Now, Liverpool have shown a lot of mentality this season. Of, you know, they're doing far better than I was expecting than probably most fans were expecting, really. So I think they're going to go that road. And... I think they're going to come back and I think they're going to comfortably beat Burnley, um, which you will see in my score prediction, which is... Man, 4-0. Um, yeah, 4-0, I'm going to go. I think Liverpool are going to come out and I think they're going to have a point to prove. Um, they need to go and show that this that was just a once-off against Arsenal because that's, that standard was just not good enough. That wasn't good enough for any team in the Premier League. It was piss-poor. So, I, th I think they're going to come back fighting and I think they're going to wipe the floor with Burnley. I'm going with a 4-0. I'm confident. And, yeah, I can't wait for the game. 3 o'clock kickoff. It's from Anfield. And, yeah, home advantage, everything. I, th I, I think we're just going to have way too much. So, let's get into my line prediction. Which is as follows. Allison in goal. I mean, I normally call him the world's best goalkeeper after last um, week. I don't think I can really do that too much. I mean, he should be. He is a great goalkeeper, but that was a shocking performance from Allison. Um, the only thing is, I, I mean, he, he's he's always had a mistake in him, especially when they're trying to play out from the back. Um, and he, he, ever since we signed him, he's had a mistake in him. So I'm not surprised it has happened. I just hope that he would just get it out of his game the more he played but he hasn't and he's always had that mistake in him so what can I say you know he's he lost us the game against Arsenal but then again he wins us so many points anyway so you know Allison starts um, well it wouldn't be anybody else anyway we've got nobody else suitable um, then I've gone with Robertson and Trent at the fullback positions I think this is a time now where Robertson, maybe Klopp's looking at it as it's not such a big game. You know, it's not a Chelsea or an Arsenal or a City or a United. So it's time for Robertson to actually start a game instead of little cameos. And I think this will be the game that Robertson finally gets back into the team, especially with Canate being out with the red card. I think Gomez will go and slot in alongside Van Dijk. And that's who my centre-back pairing is, is Van Dijk and Joe Gomez. And as I said, Trent out on the right. Yeah, another... I mean, I could I could sit here all day and tell you 
who was bad against Arsenal. The end of the story is they were all bad. Um, you just can't drop 11 players. That's the thing. And yeah, Trent was especially poor as well um, against Arsenal. But again, I think it's, you know, him not fully fit coming back from that injury. Hopefully, hopefully this is that they, they will just go out. They'll get that 4-0 win, like I've said. And they'll just, you know, get themselves back up, lift themselves up, and, you know, in time to go on for the rest of the season and go on another little run. Then in midfield, as I said, Endo is coming back. And I think that's perfect with Savoslai going out injured. I think he'll come in in a defensive role. McAllister will then be pushed up. <clears throat> um, if he doesn't, then McAllister's obviously going to be in the defensive role and it could be possibly Gravenberg alongside Jones. Um, but again, another one who was poor. But again, you can't drop everybody. Um, but I think it will be Endo in the defensive role, Jones and then McAllister. And that's my midfield. And then the front three, it's going to be Jota, the assassin, um, He's just a great player. Um, he was he was probably one of our better players against Arsenal, to be honest with you, in my opinion. Um, not that the standard was very high. But he just always looks like there's something something dangerous can happen when he's there. So you can't you can't take him out. And the only way I think he will come out is if Salah um is back. I can see clock because Nunes didn't start. I see Nunes starting this game definitely. Um so if Salah is back, maybe Salah will be on the right, Nunes through the middle, Diaz on the left. But I've gone with Jota because I'm assuming Salah will not start because there's been no news about it, only he's back for this game or the next one. Um, so I've gone with Jota through the middle, Diaz on the right and Nunes on the left, hoping to cause that chaos as they do when they come in from either side. And that's my full lineup. So just to go through that in full, it's Allison. Robertson, Van Dijk, Gomez, Trent Alexander-Arnold, then Endo, McAllister, Jones, Diaz, Jota, and Nunes. Uh, that's my full lineup. That's who I've gone with. Get in the comments. Let me know if you think I'm wrong. If you think I'm right. How do you think the game will go? If you've got any predictions yourself for the game. If you've got a score prediction, anybody you think will. Um, who do you think will score? Um, even if you want to go on a rant about the Arsenal performance, I'm I'm here for it. You know, I'll have a, I'll interact with you. Doesn't matter what platform, Facebook or YouTube. So that is my prediction. That's my match prediction. That's my score prediction. That's my lineup prediction. That's how I think the game is going to go. That is a three o'clock kickoff. Pain in the ass one because they're not on TV. It's really difficult to find them being broadcast, but. Three o'clock, I'll be live. That's Saturday, um, Saturday the 10th. Um, yeah, I'll be live again just a little bit before kickoff, 10, 15 minutes or so, and we'll have a little chat beforehand. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you then. Um, and if you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe. And thank you very much. See you on Saturday. Until then, peace and love.